Hi, I'm Pastor David again, and now it's time for the children's message. So if you have children nearby who aren't already watching the video, children or youth, now's a great time to call them over because I have something to share with them I think they'll be interested to hear. So do you know what it means to be two-faced? Yeah, that's right. It means to do or say one thing one day and then later do or say something that's actually the uh, absolute opposite. Have you ever had someone pretend to be your friend? Or you thought they were a friend when they're with you, but then you find out that they're saying mean things about you behind your back. Well, uh, here's an example of being two-faced. Uh, now you see, I'm, I'm good for this because my face is very long. And so I not only have a face, but I have room for another one. And so I'm going to add another one up here. Luke. Yeah, so you know who that was, yeah. Darth Vader, right. Okay, now today is Palm Sunday. And it seems that on Palm Sunday, there were some two-faced people in the crowd. You remember the story, Jesus entered into Jerusalem riding on the back of a donkey. Uh, some people were waving palm branches. Uh, others were uh, laying their coats on the street. And many people in the crowd were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But just a few days later, some of those same people were shouting something different. They were saying, crucify him, crucify him. <laughs> well, in the same way, there are still two-faced followers of Jesus today. And that's when someone comes to church on Sunday and praises the Lord. But then they go out during the week, and no one would even know that they are Christian. Some people go to church on Sunday and say, I love God. But then during the week, they lie or cheat, or they are prejudiced or mean towards people who may be different from them. It's the same as if on Sunday, another kid says, oh, I want to be your friend. But then during the week, that same kid says hurtful things about you to others and hangs out with other mean kids instead of you. Well, that's being two-faced. So what we're supposed to do instead is be consistent. We come to church on Sunday to learn about Jesus so that he will be with us all week long. We come to church to learn how Jesus wants us to act towards others. And then all week long, we should be putting that into practice. We should treat others the way Jesus has taught us to treat others and the way that we would like to be treated. So, be careful about being two-faced, where you're friendly with one face, but mean with the other. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for the children and youth of our church and community and all those watching this video today and their families. Help us not to be two-faced, but to be faithful to Jesus on Sunday and every other day of the week. In Jesus' name, amen.